Welcome everyone. I'm Leslie Wolf Kreutzfeld from the China US Women's Foundation. Uh, with me from the foundation is Ella Akpaste. We're so happy to have Bing Yi, a renowned Chinese American global artist who I had the pleasure of recently seeing at the China Institute. And we're so fortunate to have her with us today to discuss her work. Thank you, Bingyi, for being with us. Ella, would you like to ask the first question? So Leslie tells me that you have a film coming out and we wondered if you could give us a little insight. My uh, fourth feature lens. Um, this one is a uh, of a very unique genre. It's a poetic um, elaboration on the year 2020. So the title of the film is, is 2020. Um, it, it just documents the lives of seven important artists who are also my personal friends and how their lives unfolded during COVID and how their art practice um, individually developed and also developed together. So the film began by, by telling the story of a man who just had a stroke nearing death. And then he opens the entire film by saying, on December 15th, 2020, I collapsed. And then that day I made a short video going across the street in Tiananmen Square entitled One Minute in the Square. So that's how this whole film opened. And then one after another, these seven artists slash hermits or sages appeared on the screen telling the story of themselves in the year 2020, the beginning of COVID in China. And then you can see their artistic practices, how they evolved as art makers. And you can see the suffering and sadness and joy that they experienced throughout um, the very challenging times of COVID. So at the very last, these artists come together and they went to the cliff where the seven sages used to live in the six dynasties and perform this gigantic ritual uh, known as calling the souls and 6,000 masks were lifted in the sky and they were in the sacred temple. They did this amazing musical graphic and um, artistic painterly performance together. And right after that, uh, Henan had the worst flood. The flood destroyed the temple. So that was the entire story. So it certainly resonated the seven sages in the bamboo grove in terms of location, in terms of the actual number of the artists involved, but it also questions how humans should live in the most difficult as isolating moments of recent history, especially, you know, now we're faced with a war. So that's the film, the title is 2020. This is a sort of a follow-up question. Um, how has the pandemic affected your own personal ability to create? It's been very, very good for me because of the support and love that I experienced, but it was also enormously difficult for me. The suffering, the sadness, the losses, the personal losses that I experienced throughout the most recent months they were challenging very very difficult also yeah so it was good for artistic practice it's challenging on personal and national levels it's both everything is amplified for those who are not familiar with your work which of your pieces would you want them to be introduced to first prior to covid probably uh the helicopter bombing piece in which I was on the helicopter bombing the airport with ink bombs, making paintings. Um, those projects were gigantic, right? So I wrapped mountains, I replaced dead waterfalls with, with ink waterfalls. And um, yeah, those paintings were miles long. 
yeah, epic. They were epic, and、um, they were nature making its own art on the most magnificent level. Those gigantic paintings, but I also did extremely, extremely fine miniature that、um, that one would need magnifying glasses to see. So, yeah, I have many directions. But even the small ones are are very, very large. I could share a screen. I can I can show you some of the things. This here's the waterfall. You see that? So that waterfall dried out. Those are meeting、uh, paintings. It's like、um, three to five percent of the entire work. That's the temple that was destroyed by the flood. So this is the airplane that I was talking about. This is at the Shenzhen airport. And that's wrapping the mountain. It it flows down as a vessel river from top of the mountain to the very end. This is at the cathedral in in Berlin. You see how big that painting is. They're very very subtle. So that's that's the 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 work.、Um, then this is the whole dynasty that I created. So that's the national seal. The constitution that I wrote, the aesthetics that I created, those so-called you know falsified archaeological evidence is uncovered. Yeah. So I, I created this dynasty, which is dated to the 13th century. These are the national symbols that we're seeing.、Um, so these are are. The types of works that that you know、um, you would you would imagine when you, when you talk about Bingyi, right? That would be the the type of painting. Thank you so much for showing those.、Yeah. Um, so you've been producing art in various formats for well over a decade.、Um, as technology has changed over this time, has your creative process changed in any way because of technological advancements? Uh, I actually work with new media a lot. I created this、uh, tower architecture of new media of digital media.、Um, so the time tower. See whether we could pull some images of of that. So time tower is a six floor in height architecture, which really are this architecture of screens. Wow. <laughs> so that's the architecture, and、um, this is the the how it looks like、mm -hmm. when it's played. So when you see this, this do you see that?、Mm -hmm. Literally. Wow. That's the time tower. So you asked me about medium. This is the medium、mm -hmm. I'm working with.、And、I work with film. I work with new medium and digital media.、Mm -hmm. And you have to notice this is an architecture, architecture,、uh, right? And the vertical and horizontal. They they just it's more than immersive. It's multi-dimensional and multi-perspective.、Um, also, right? So. Now we're all very visual person. I don't even think I need to describe it. This is the performance.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, performance. Wow. Yeah. What's that? I have a question、um, about your experience at a historically women's college, Mount Holyoke.、Um, do you feel that your time there shaped your art in any way? It shaped my value. It shaped my value system. It's a it's a very big statement. I、uh, I myself I went to Wellesley, also historically women's college, and and I too feel like it. You it know, shaped your value, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure Leslie will say the same. 
Yeah, that's yeah. definitely something that we all share right Leslie, now. Leslie, where did you go? Um, I went to Wellesley College. Yeah, so <laughs> we all yeah. went to Women's yeah. College. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I went to Mount Holyoke. Yes. Yeah. Um, are there any female artists in your life that you've been inspired by or have worked with previously that you, you know, cherished your time with them or any that you are sort of mentoring, you know, you're helping to nurture in their career? I have a school. I founded a international academy focused on notion of creativity. And uh, we admit students from all these important institutions. We, we have students from all over the world coming to the school to study and to extensively explore the notion of creativity and to do experiments. So yeah, they're my mentees. So I'm the mentor. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, so though you have exhibited across the world, is there any country, city or space in particular that you have yet to visit that you would like to perform in? or perhaps somewhere that you would like to revisit? Jerusalem. Ooh. Jerusalem is my city. Every time when I had to do a gigantic, like huge scale, epic scale work, Jerusalem is the place that I return over and over again for power and mm -hmm. connection to my own roots, Jerusalem. Wow. Thank you for sharing. What are you most looking forward to this year? Um, my book, uh, The Philosophy on, on Shan Shui is coming out. My poetry anthology is coming out. So it's, it's writings coming out and um, just finished the fourth feature. Hopefully I can finish the, the you know, the whole, complete sequel of the, the Ruins trilogy. So those are things that have been on their way for a long time. I've worked for a long time for these projects. Um, so I'm very excited to see its final conclusion in the year 2022. So this is my final question, but Leslie, if you have anything else to ask, obviously go ahead. Um, what advice would you give to women who want to pursue a career in the arts? Do it. What will you do? Do it. Just do it. Oh, and it's really, really important because we are encaged by illusions, the illusions of limitation, the illusions that we can't the illusion that you have to have this and that condition you know, for pure illusions there is no limitation to anyone you know if you want to go out and change the world you go out and change the world it's do it's doable and you go do it <laughs> i feel like you were speaking to my soul right there <laughs> i'm gonna take that to heart it I really it is it is really that you know um when 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 things get really, really hard, we're isolated in our own suffering. We forget those are pure illusions. Mm -hmm. The fact that humans are isolated in our own sufferings is a pure illusion. You can always find help, find love, find resonance, find responses in, in any random moment in time. It's there for you. You just have to go look and it's there for you. I would like on that um, note, I, one of the things that struck me in um, at China Institute was your description that we could write love letters instead of drop bombs or something to that effect. In Lotus Dynasty, we competed with poetry. So it's the beauty that reigned, not power. Those were the words that I said. So obviously they're really to, uh, to womanhood. Uh, that's one way to interpret that. But, but I, was, I was trying to say is that nature has it in us to have beauty. But it's the human part of us that's greedy. So if, if human forever tries to stand against nature as the greedy ones, 
we will be destroyed. And vice versa, if we want to reign the world with, with beauty, nature will be there to support us for a long time to come. Anything else you would like to share? We are the China US Women's Foundation. Our platform is mostly young women and students. Um, we can continue the conversation. I hope we can have future meetings together, but anything we haven't covered that you'd like to share? Um, I would say humans have, have no boundaries when you're filled with love. Just feel the love that, that is in you. It'll never go away. It never dies. And it's that love that's above us that's looking at us every moment in time. So if you find that love in your own bodies, it's in you, find it, it's there. With that, you have compassion to yourself, compassion to the others and compassion to the world. And it's, it's that power that'll give you infinite solutions and belief and peace and joy, but it's in there, it's in your own body and, and souls. I mean, you can talk the words, but I'm, I'm that person who sacrificed and worked for decades to prove that it is true. Many people could say the words, but I stand here showing you what has been possible for me. Yes. Now, clearly, all of your works are expressions of this positivity and something that we would be proud to, you know, showcase and uh, share with our audiences. It is my pleasure to really uh, speak to you too, because, you know, I would always love to learn more about your platform and what you do and the lives that you touch, the things that you've, you've done and the wonderful things that, that are out there.